morning, boys and girls. We are very excited for our fourth grade year band concert. Our students standing behind me have been working very, very hard all year to learn a new instrument, and they are ready to perform. We also have some of we have all of our actual fifth grade band members over there that are going to perform a song at the very end. Boys and girls, before we get started, a few important thank yous. I would like to thank our Board of Education, our Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Ferreira, our Assistant Superintendent, Mr. Zielinski, for all of their support of the arts, all the way down to our elementary school level. I would like to thank our fourth grade teachers who coordinated with our directors, Mr. Neilheim and Ms. Pierre, our rehearsals. I'd like to thank, go ahead, we can clap. I'd like to thank our parents for supporting our students uh, through their uh, learning of their first instrument. So a round of applause for that. And I would like to thank our two band directors, Mrs. Neilheim and Mrs. Gautier. And at this time, we are very proud of our fourth grade students. And we are ready for them to perform. We're going to turn it over to the band. Alright, boys and girls, I want to thank you in advance for being a wonderful audience. All of our band members are going to be introducing all the different parts of the concert for you. So I'm going to turn it over to them. So I hope you enjoy our concert. Hello and welcome to the Fork and River School Beginner Bank Demonstration Concert. We are so excited to have you here today to show you what we've been working on hard on for the past for the past six months. At the beginning of the school this school year, students signed up to be a part of the band and take on the challenging and rewarding task of learning to Can you believe that on the first day of lessons, these students didn't even, didn't even know how to open their cases, put together their instruments, or TA? All the students on stage have put in a lot of time practicing, and all of their hard work has paid off. We can now play many, many different tunes, and we're starting to learn how to play different parts all together, play as a band. First in our concert, We learned one note and then one more note. Remember, we learned how to read music. Then we put those two notes together in the same song to see if we could tell the difference. We're going to play three different lines in the book to show you that.
those two notes, we add a third one to the next. We're going to play a line featuring our third note, and then two lines mixing up the three notes we know.
one heart cross one spirit.
The alto saxophones are next. Some people wonder why we call it the alto saxophone and just not a saxophone. That is because there are many different types and sizes of saxophone. This is the frame of saxophone that is smaller and plays higher. And there is also a tenor and a baritone saxophone that is much bigger and plays lower. The alto saxophone makes a sound just like the clarinet with the reed. Vibrating both the instruments is made out of metal instead of wood, giving it a much brighter sound. The alto saxophones are going to play the theme from Beethoven Symphony No. 9. the brass family. The first instrument that will play is the highest. The instrument is called the chamber. On the brass instrument, you make the sound that goes into your lips and to the mouth as you go down. When you buzz on the mouth, is it sound like The trumpet has three valves that you press down and only has seven possible combinations of the valves. But in order to change the notes, you have to change the valves and change the tightness or looseness of your lips as you buzz. The trumpets are going to play on the bridge at Avignon.
all the band play the same thing all together.
side. We've got one more song, but before we get to our fifth grade song, I want all of my fourth graders to please stand up. All my first year, all my first year players, all of my first year players, stand up. And let's give them one more big round of applause. Um, the fifth graders were all disappointed this year because while it was a really cool experience, right, we combined the fifth grade bands from all three buildings. So we have about 63 students participating in the fifth grade band and we perform as a combined group. And since we've done that, we were not able to actually perform our winter concert here in the school for you guys, right? You haven't seen the fifth graders perform yet. So we have this one song. Um, it's actually written by the music teacher at Lenoka Harbor School's daughter, Mrs. Faruza, um, and she composed this song for her little band. She's a music teacher, and I really liked it, and it's in 3-4, which was a challenge for us to play a song in three, and all of my fifth graders agreed that it would be a good one for us to play and just perform a little preview for, us, for you guys because we're going to perform it at our spring concert. So this is Snowfall, and also, I just want to say thank you so much to Miss Bob here. I don't know if you see her running around back there, but she's the real MVP, and she is a beautiful piano player, and she's going to be featured on the piano in this song, along with our fifth grade band students. This song is called Snowfall by Mrs. Fruitsa.
that concludes our concert. I just want to say I am so proud of all these students. Learning an instrument is not easy, and I'm all proud of all you guys for having a speaking part, too. So let's give them a round of applause. It's not easy to talk in front of the audience. Thank you so much for coming and being a great audience. I'll let you get back to class. Thank you, everybody. Uh, boys and girls, we hope to see you all as a part of our fifth grade band next year, and our fifth graders as part of the middle school band. We can't wait to see you all grow and become even better. You've done an amazing job. Again, big round of applause for all of our bands. And none of this would be possible without Mrs. Mielheim and Mrs. Gautier, so I have for that. Mrs. Bailey teaches them recorders.